Hey everybody, it's Rochelle, Brief Recovery with Rochelle. So, I'm just bringing real life to you today. Today is my husband's 40th birthday, and I don't know, I just feel like it's helpful to see how grief recovery works day to day in the moment, and I gotta tell you, I'm human, and I fail a lot, but what's really helpful and awesome is with grief recovery, I know how to repair, and I've never known that before. It just wasn't modeled for me. So now I feel confident that I know. So today's my husband's 40th birthday. We are running crazy. He's off work today. We've got a big weekend and there's a whole lot of prep that goes involved with this weekend. So this morning, it was just a rough morning. A lot of emotions floating about. We did a breakfast with my kids so they can be involved in the, in the birthday before they went to school. And then it was just my husband and I running errands and getting our weekend all together. So um, we start, we're exhausted. We were up until about two in the morning just to get up at five because we're prepping. <laughs> and so you're thinking, what's prep? What kind of prep are you doing? Just, you know, kids, schedules, balancing, making sure all the different people who are involved in helping have what they need. Anyhow, we are both exhausted and running errands. So we're, we're bickering, we're having a hard time. We're, we're not going well. He's not listening. He's not responding in a way that's helping me. And um, I'm getting frustrated and bitter. And before you know it, we're shouting and he's shutting down and I'm shouting. He shuts down. I'm the shouter. And it's just not going well at all. And I need like 20 minutes. Stop talking. No more words. Stop talking. No, really. No noise. Stop talking. I don't know. Maybe I'm the only one who goes through this kind of stuff. So I'm super frustrated. I'm feeling deflated inside, I'm working our tails off to help him have a great birthday weekend, but it's, it's going bad and I'm panicking. Oh no, oh no, we're not gonna be able to turn it around. And so in that 20 minutes while I'm driving to all around to the different stops and we're going in and out of the stops and I'm just walking fast and we're not talking and you better be on my, you better be following, you know, cause I'm in a hurry, but we're not talking. It's just such a mess. I'm a wreck of a human being. So uh, the thing is, it came after the, during my quiet time, I'm doing my steps in my head. Now, most effective for the really big stuff, we need to do them out loud to a living person. But for the, the small, right now in the moment, I need some sort of relief right now. I'm doing my steps in my head as I'm driving. The cool thing about that is I already feel my soul start to settle. And then we go into, I don't know, maybe the fifth store by 10 a.m. this morning. And um, there was a little break. The car breaks down while we're in the middle of getting gas at Costco. I mean, this is just so fun. And um, <laughs> he's working with the Costco auto people while I'm in getting the few Costco items that we needed, toilet paper. I mean, you gotta have that stuff. So in that little break, and I had already done my steps. I don't know what he had done, but he came and he apologized, which was awesome. But the thing is, what's so different is he's usually the apologizer. I'm sure I'm not the only, uh, we're not the only married, married couple who there's an apologizer and then there's the, I feel justified person. And I'm usually that person. He apologized, he started it. And I would have just been done at that moment. I would have just been like, okay, thank you. Because he tried to apologize earlier, but there was no emotion. It was like a business transaction. That didn't work for me. So it wasn't settling. I still needed that quiet time. But he came at me with uh, true emotional um, caring. I'm, I'm sad that I hurt your feelings apology. And that was awesome. But the change in me was that I also needed to apologize and take responsibility for the fact that I'm shouting at him on his birthday. That doesn't feel good. And I'd never would take responsibility for that kind of thing before, because again, I felt fresh or I'm sorry, um, justified. So right now, well, not literally right this very second, but you know, maybe 30 minutes ago, um, the conversation continued and I just was able to walk up to him and hug him and apologize for shouting. And he said, well, I hurt your feelings. Yeah, you did, but I feel horrible shouting at you. That doesn't feel good. It's your birthday and that's not how I wanna be treating you. So that's the flip, that's the switch. And that's why I think grief recovery is not just valuable, you know, in the sense of being in a class, but in your everyday life. I'm not kidding you guys. I really use this every day and I know I'm not the only one. So I love you and I'll talk with you next time. I hope this is helpful. Bye-bye.